First, I'd like to thank all of you for being here to celebrate the continuation of a very, very special journey. A journey whose first steps started over two years ago. Nothing has meant as much to me as the two years we've spent together becoming best friends and now life partners. Today is the day that I realized that it's taken our whole lives to discover the qualities that define a best friend and a lifelong partner. Today I realized it's taken up to this point in our lives to learn the qualities from friends and family around us to find out what love really means. I am so very lucky to have you in my life. And I am so incredibly excited to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> I knew that you were special the very first night we spent time together when you were able to pull me out of my shell to sing karaoke. <laughs> I was able to open up so easily with you like I've never been able to before. <laughs> you look amazing. Hopefully this is the only time I cry. <laughs> I vow to be faithful and have patience in every aspect of our lives. I vow to continue to grow in my role as your husband as our relationship continues to grow and blossom. I vow to consider your opinion and feelings in everything I do. I vow to listen with an open mind and an open heart. I vow to protect and cherish our relationship throughout our journey. While I can't vow I won't make mistakes, I can and do vow to do my best to always learn from them. And above all, I vow to stand side by side with you as equals till the end of time. One night, Travis called me. It's 11 o'clock at night, and he doesn't usually call me around that time. And he said, hey, Mom, I'm over at the White Owl. Why don't you come over and have a drink with me? I was sent with him, and he starts looking through his phone, and he goes, Take, let's take a picture together. And I was like, okay. We take this picture together and he's doing something on his phone and he goes, Mom, I met this girl. He says, and she's beautiful. And look, he shows me this picture. He goes, she's in Dallas right now with her mom. He goes, and now I'm with my mom. She's gonna think I'm a really great guy. about Travis is the day he met Megan the kid changed. And I say the kid because he's kind of like a little brother to me and um, his approach to ladies changed and his, the way he thought about his future changed. Why does desperation call between midnight and morning? The bed is getting cold and here my hopes are growing lonely. Travis has clearly always been a wild card and we all know that. Um, but the thing with you, Megan, is you calm him down without, like, telling him to calm down. Does that make sense? And so I can't think of uh, a more perfect couple. I really can't. So
zigzags and our life's road takes us many places. There's really only one place you were meant to be, and that's here today, tonight, and tomorrow to be Mrs. Travis Faust. I always thought I understood what love meant, but it really wasn't until I met you that the word had a real meaning to me. The day I met you will always be known as the best day of my life. <laughs> There's so many things about you that make me fall deeper in love with you each and every day. From the way you wake me up every single morning and you won't leave the house without a hug or a kiss. Or my morning text from you saying the simplest, most important thing we can say to each other, I love you. And my reply is always the same, then I love you more. You are always there to keep me grounded. And I promise to lift you up whenever you may need me. You always have my back, and I promise that I will always have yours. I promise to come up with as many waterfowl recipes as I can possibly think of, so that I can at least attempt to keep pace with your hunting skills. Today, I look at both of our families and I saw long-lasting relationships that have been built on trust, laughter, honesty, and compassion. Just as our parents have loved each other, I will love and cherish you for the rest of my life. Travis and Megan, your dreams will continue to be all around you long after the ceremony. And as you continue on your journey, I would like to leave you with three rules of the road. Every new day, is a new footstep on the journey. Each day should nourish your love for each other and the journey itself. Talk to each other every day. Listen to each other every day. Someday, when you look back, you will realize, as I certainly have, that the most valuable treasures you accumulated in your lives can't be counted or sold. Rather, the most valuable treasures your journey will give you is the love, the time, and all the joys you shared with each other along the way. Megan, I'm asking you to be my wife. Megan, I'm asking you to be my wife. And in return, I vow to support and respect you. In my return, I vow to. And in return, I vow to support and respect you. And in return, I vow to uh, respect and do nice things to you. What? Yeah. And in return. And in return, I vow to, I vow to support and respect you. <laughs> in your successes as well as your failures. And in your successes as well as your failures. To care for you in sickness and in health. To care for you in sickness and in health. To nurture you. To nurture you. And to grow with you throughout our lives together. And to grow with you throughout our lives together. Travis, I am asking you to be my husband. And in return, I vow to support and respect you. <laughs> and in return, I vow to support and respect you. In your sickness as well as your failures. In your sickness as well as your failures. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And I ask you to wear it as a sign to the world that you are my husband. And I ask you to wear it as a sign to the world that you are my husband. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With the joining of your hands, with the giving of your rings. At this time, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Congratulations, kiss your bride.
grown to love Travis, but most of all, we respect Travis. He has really treated our daughter like we feel she deserves to be treated. She's a very, very special person to us. And anything that any father could dream of is the way that she looked tonight. So this is where you fell, and I am left to sell. Just a beautiful, beautiful bride. Just so, so happy. You can just see it in her eyes. That's what makes us feel so good about this. It's just a really, really cool thing. So I want to toast to Mr. and Mrs. Travis and Megan Faust. one of my favorite quotes. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. I feel that we've both grown so much together. I have fallen in love with everything about you. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, and I am so proud to call you my husband. I love you. Love you too.